Welcome to this EMS web training session. In this session, we're going to cover the creation of internal audits or inspections. So an internal audit differs from an ex external audit in that it is typically recurring, such as a weekly hazardous waste inspection. The checklist template can be tied to individual EMS items, like um, the items that you are inspecting. So if you're doing a above ground storage tank inspection, then you might want to tie it to this specific pieces of um, AST tanks uh, that are uh, listed in EMS web. And also you may want to allow the creation of uh, additional checklists. When you are creating your annual internal audit, you probably want to follow the um, format of an external audit. So um, if you're creating an internal uh, annual audit, you may want to just follow the instructions for an external audit. But when you're creating an internal inspection, such as a, your tier one or tier two inspections, and that you're doing a weekly or quarterly um, inspection, then we'll go through and um, cover that in this training session. So under the audit inspection tab, you'll want to click on to the uh, new audit inspection um, button. This is different than the new regulatory performed inspection because regulatory performed inspections are done by non-Navy entities such as EPA or your state water board or other uh, local inspections. Um, so, once this um, audit inspection form comes up, you want to give it a, um, a descriptive name. So that usually uh, includes the fiscal year and what you are inspecting. Oops. Um, the other fields that you want to populate are the uh, lead auditor or lead inspector. Uh, lead PLC, um, you can leave blank. Inspecting agency should be lead left blank. Um, if you are going to tie this to specific pieces of equipment, then you want to uh, specify whether it's the equipment, uh, location, or building that uh, you are inspecting. You can relate it to s individual permits or to specific practices. Uh, if you're not planning on uh, relating it to EMS items that you've already created, then you would leave it to the default not related. In this case, I'm going to tie it to individual pieces of equipment. This is going to be an internal evaluation. The audit inspection type, so you would choose which one is appropriate. So for an internal inspection, it'd probably be tier one or tier two. If you're doing your internal audit, it'd be tier three. Uh, is it critical? That's um, up to you. You can make it show up as critical on the calendar if you want. Uh, I would suggest allowing the creation of additional checklists and uh, make it a recurring evaluation if it's going to rec um, recur on a um, ongoing basis. Uh, default Assigned personnel and default closure review POCs, 
you can probably just leave those blank because findings are not the norm on a internal inspection. So you click on next. And then uh, you go, um, because we have marked that we want to tie it to individual EMS items, now it's going to show me here are all of the um, equipment that belongs to this installation. And so I can uh, check those. So let's say um, I'm going to check these four fake um, anti-sinking devices. Now, do note that you can select uh, equipment or EMS items that belong to your child organizations. So if your inspection is occurring at the region level, then you can tie it to uh, equipment that belongs to your installation level organizations. And you would do that by clicking on Show Child Organizations. And then this equipment table would refresh and, sh and additionally show all of the equipment that belongs to uh, the child organizations. And you could check mark the ones that you are interested in and then add them. So you want to go th um, add in the check marked um, equipment. And then you'll see that uh, in the second column, they have been marked. So they will be added. If you have a lot of equipment, you can use the filters to search for specific pieces of equipment and then uh, mark the check boxes and add them. So you have to add at least one uh, EMS item. And then you can go to the next screen. So the next part is to assign the checklist templates that you want to use. You can add in one or more uh, inspection templates, or if you want, you can add in no inspection templates. If you don't add in any inspection templates, uh, then there will be no checklists assigned, and you won't be able to fill out any checklists. The only thing you would be able to do with this inspection then would be to uh, create findings. Once you uh, assign templates, then um, uh, let's see, let's go through the creation process. So um, I'm going to choose a training checklist. You would assign a inspector to fill out that checklist. And you would inspect, uh, define the evaluation type, which would be inspection. And then you would go ahead and save it. So in essence, what you're doing is you are defining what checklist templates you're using, who's going to fill it out. And each one of these checklist templates will be applied to each one of the uh, EMS items that you've selected. So in this case, I'm just going to um, choose one um, checklist template. You can add in multiple checklist templates. The next thing is you need to set up the recurrence for your inspection. So popular ones are weekly or quarterly or monthly. For this one, I'm going to say it uh, occurs weekly. It's going, uh, I can define what part of the week. So I'm going to say it's due every Friday. And then I'm going to put a start date of um, this Monday, and I'm going to make it last for uh, one year. So I can either use the calendar function or I can just type in a date. So I'm going to make it recur for one year. 
And then uh, if my start date started in the past, I can allow creations of tasks um, in the past that are already overdue. If I don't mark it, it's only going to create tasks in the future. I can see uh, before I actually um, leave this page, I can see what dates the uh, checklist will be due by clicking on Generate Dates. So since this is weekly occurring for uh, one full year, we're going to have 52 um, individual checklist items that will be created. So if I like the way um, that this has been set up, then I can click on Next. Otherwise, I would um, change the options here. So at this point, I've created my draft internal inspection. Uh, I've defined one checklist template, four EMS items. And so um, when I submit this um, inspection and finalize it, then it's going to go ahead and create my assigned checklist. So for 52 weeks, um, I have one template um, being applied to four items, so I'll have a little over 200 checklists that will need to be uh, filled out for this internal inspection. So currently this is in draft, so you'll notice that there are zero checklist items. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and submit this um, internal inspection. This page essentially says, are you sure? So you can either submit or cancel out. And now you'll see that um, now I have 52 checklist items that can be filled out, one for each week. So if I dive into this, it's going to list out all of the um, all the uh, due dates for these checklists. So um, if I, and you can see each one is applied to four uh, individual EMS items. So if I go ahead and click onto this, you will see that there are four individual assigned checklists and each one are, is handled separately. Um, I can go back to the uh, inspection profile by uh, using this hyperlink here on the audit inspection title. Um, so other things that I can do with um, this audit inspection is um, once I'm done with the inspection, all of the findings that have been created, have been, uh, that I wanted to create for this inspection. Uh, once they have all been created, I can go ahead and close the inspection. And what that will do is um, it will, uh, no, one, eliminate the ability to create further findings for this inspection. And two, if there are no open findings, it will remove this inspection from the audit inspection table. Um, if you are creating an internal audit, you can view the, um, the uh, internal audit report in either Word document or PDF form. Um, from these links. And what that will do was is it will generate the internal audit report using all of the findings that have been created for this inspection. Uh, you can also add in notes for this um, inspection. So um, if you are an inspector and you notice something that needs to be followed up on the next 
uh, weekly inspection, you can write yourself a note here. Any notes that are added are here are visible to anyone that um, accesses this internal inspection. Okay, um, you can edit uh, a lot of these uh, inspection fields. So you can um, change the lead auditor if you are the lead auditor or the person that created uh, this inspection. You can uh, edit and uh, change the checklist templates. So um, you can change the person that is inspecting it and that will automatically um, change the tasks. So the old inspector, the task to um, fill out the checklist will all be closed out and then new tasks will be created for the new inspector. You can add additional templates and that will create additional assigned checklists for uh, any uh, checklists in the future. As well, um, you can um, add and edit the EMS items. If you delete a uh, EMS item, then um, any checklist that belong uh, to that EMS item will automatically be closed. Any checklists that have already had information entered into them for that EMS item will remain. Um, in particular, any uh, checklist that has had information entered in it becomes historical and cannot be deleted from the system. If you add an additional EMS item, then you will create additional assigned checklists um, for any of those checklist templates for any uh, dates that occur in the future. Okay. Um, Another uh, function that you have on your inspection profile is you can copy this um, inspection. So um, at the end of the year, if you want to um, quickly create the next year's inspection, you can just go ahead and copy it and then it will transfer all of the information over to a uh, new internal inspection that will be in draft status and then you can just go through and make any uh, desired changes and then uh, submit it.